Turn up. Hotwire. Priapism. Excite bike. <laughs> 70 <laughs> 70 how about that we made it we made it when we started i was like the one thing we're not going to do is the 70s 70, episode yeah God is there anything significant about that uh no walter <laughs> jones is 70 number 71 well that's not hall of fame you can't left just tackle. pull in numbers that aren't today can you huh yeah no well i'm like well fuck and he's name other some well and then this guy is fucking 52 walter jones was really good he was really good We'll talk about him next week. Maybe the best left tackle ever. Of all time. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. Cool. <laughs> cool shit, dude. <laughs> hey, uh, w- uh, welcome what? to the show, Joe. Thanks, man. Welcome. And Zach. Brian. Welcome. Zach. Hey, welcome to the family, everybody. <laughs> Let me do it for or whatever. you. Or whatever. <laughs> Let me do it for you. <laughs> uh, support us on Patreon. You'll find a link in the episode description. Send stuff into the show. I feel like there's another confessions segment coming up soon. We gotta get some get some fresh confessions. I'm ready to be t- titillated. Mm, that Is that the word? Yeah, tickled. Tittle. T- I'm your, ready to be tickled with confessions. Your, get your back tickled. Ooh. So if you have some so some dirty, I want to go into to a, uh, the place where you <laughs> talk to a priest. Yeah. The confession room, and then just have him like reach through there and tickle my back. Just poke through the the wood mm. like you like that you like kind of I'll, I'll confess anything if he'll just he'll give me a little back scratch a little tickle little back tickle <laughs> so you get some good stuff out of me just tickle mm-hmm. me up uh send that into hey guys at can you don't podcast.com we are doing lap time you ever been in a confession i have room that was, was my only confession i was like yeah. yeah i'm done with that <laughs> i walked in i was like this is my first time in here and he's like first yeah. time listener and i guess <laughs> door open <laughs> mm. that was it got out of the way right to heaven mm. that's where i go Okay. Uh, I have been in, but I don't remember what I talked about. Anyway, Catholic stuff. You, Jack? Nope. Hmm. No, well, I mean, duh. He would burst into flames <laughs> if he walked in there. Off Bur- it off. Burn the church down. He just closed the door. <laughs> turns into a furnace. Is that how um, Burn the Priest came about? The could, band? Yeah, sure. That could be. Judas Priest? Lamb of God? Mm-hmm. All right. I miss <laughs> Lamb of God. Sorry. I, uh, they're still alive. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> They're not what they used to be. <laughs> they like the early stuff. <laughs> Lap time with Uncle Zach on the show today. What are we talking about? Can you give us a quick preview, Zach? We're going to talk about Halloween and the facts behind the history of it. Fuck yes, we are. Yep. And if kids are eating candy with, you know, drugs in them or not. Oh. <laughs> we'll find if, out. Dude, if you get some or drugs, razor blades. Yeah. And raz- yep. You get drugs in your candy, just send them into P.O. Box. <laughs> Can you don't <laughs> podcast in beautiful downtown Coeur d'Alene. And then we'll transfer it to beautiful <laughs> Spokane, <laughs> Washington. <laughs> yeah, drive. there was a, just a drive-by the other day. <laughs> yes, there was. We were joking about, uh, remember, if like uh, if a guy with a musket? Oh, yeah. <laughs> get a drive-by? <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Fellas, ladies, it's about, and if we're not in a bad neighborhood where we're at right now. Yeah. Block and a half away, a house just got riddled in a fucking drive-by. And we don't know why. But then, like, you, you look at the, brrr, zzz, like, what, it was a like straight line of bullets, whatever sound like that would Uzi. make. Like an Uzi. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's way better than. <laughs> yeah. That's a Mac 10. Yeah. yeah. With the Mac 10 on the side of my hip. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, laughing about how hard it would do, to, how hard it would be to do a drive-by with a musket. Mm-hmm. Or, like, just a, re- whatever they're called. Is yeah. that a musket? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah bayonet, jam- bayonets on the end. Yeah, Mac yeah, musket. You jam the powder and the shit mm-hmm. in there. Get out of here, Jim! He goes, whoosh, 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 and he's on the back of a carriage. He's like ripping the bag apart and pouring yeah. the. And then he goes, "That's littering." <laughs> yeah, somebody's yelling at you. That's littering, him. John. You've always been a lousy shot. <laughs> Fuck you, Jim! <laughs> Horses are like <laughs> standing in the street, just shitting in the middle of the street, <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> come out. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> ha, missed again. <laughs> Missed again, you dumb piece of shit. He's just standing there with his coffee. The, the <laughs> I could door. do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 22 balls. I've got 22 <laughs> balls. In a, just a bag, uh, just a huge bin of blood, uh, of gunpowder <laughs> yeah, packages. Yeah. He misses the last they're, one. He's they're like, like, God, like, God damn it. 
they're they get, like a little ketchup packets, but they're they're <laughs> yeah, they have to rip the top off. Gunpowder. Mm-hmm. He's riding away. The horse like he's like, I'll be back tomorrow with my cannon. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, right, John. See you in the morning. Heard that one before. Grabs his paper, walks back <laughs> yeah. in. Lousy shot. You yeah, were in the military, shot Larry. We still are today. You fucking piece of shit. Right. Um, we have some new merch in the merch store. We got some love my daddy's merch. Mm. That sound, I mean, that's saucy. Mm. What's better than starting the day with one daddy? Two daddies. And Damn an uncle. Right. And an uncle. Two dads, one uncle. <laughs> I've, seen <that. laughs> oh, yeah. I've seen that video. We've got some coffee mugs. We've got a couple options on the coffee mugs. Head over to canyonopodcast.com. It's in the merch section. And then we also have a Tumblr. And on the Tumblr design, if you zoom in here, you'll see that one of the hot air balloons are on fire. Yeah. Just one. <laughs> Just one of them. <laughs> Just one of them. Got a whole bunch of hot air balloons. Says, love my daddies across it. And then one of them is engulfed in flames. It's like a, it's like a little Easter egg. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, yeah. So go check it out. Head over to canyoudon'tpodcast.com. And those are available <clears throat> right now. We have some quick mail call to do. This was sent in. Damn, this song is saucy. Hmm. It was sent in. It says, hello, Can You Don't team. Recently, Zach said he would love to experience the fifth element for the first time again. Yeah. I thought he might like to have this decorated. What? Uh, de- oh, help have this to help him decorate the Zach cave. Yeah. In the new studio. Enjoy Cassidy. And it's from uh, the fifth element. It's a multi-pass. Lulu oh, Dallas multi-pass? Sweet. Yes. Multi-pass. I can't really. I don't know. I'm trying to show it. So, we're, we're Cassidy? Right. Yep. Thank you, Cassidy. Yeah, so that got sent in. And then Kayla sent in some more stickers for us. Or not some more stickers, but uh, we got three stickers. And each sticker just says, Certified Silly Goose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that on my on your laptop. On my laptop. Here you go, buddy. Here you go, buddy. I'm going to put that on there right now. Hello, buddy. Look at the little, the little uh, <laughs> toddler. Yep. Helicopter hat. Little toddler cap on it. Yeah. So there's that. Um, just in case... Oh, yeah, if you want to send something in, please do. We got to decorate Zach's little Zach cave. And you'll find the physical email description, or email, the physical mail in uh, inside of the episode description. And just in case everyone was wondering if hot air balloons have magically gotten safer over the last couple of months, the answer is no. And uh, we got a couple updates in. Listeners, Herd of Turtles and Nicholas sent in. I love turtles. A couple of them. This is just an article that came in, and it says balloon hits power line while landing mm. in North Valley. Great that this happened in New Mexico. And then we have a video of a hot air balloon disaster going wrong. And even if you can't watch this right now on YouTube, you can look it up. Here you go. Here's some audio from it. It's a wind. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. (laughs) You can just hear the. So, right now, one hot air balloon is bouncing off of another one. Okay, they're gone. They made it out. It was deliberate. They're trying to get air up so he can get up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at shit. That's a cool sentence. Stay in, stay in, stay in. <laughs> this is obviously a science. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's obviously a science fair. <laughs> that is scary. I always thought that was just fun. It's not just Who's fun. next? Watch this guy. Oh, there goes so the zipping basket. around. Here we go. Oh, wow. Boom. Oh, 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 Jesus. Bangs into out. the ground. Oh, my God. Hanging the guy's hanging out. out. Oh my god, he's hanging. <laughs> Did he fall? No, he didn't. Oh Jesus. <laughs> the commentary. Please, please, please. please. He's hanging off the fucking thing. Oh my god. The bear. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's not the one who runs it. No oh, shit. He's like, I'm done. Fuck those people. Why? This is the worst part. Oh Jesus. Oh. Oh. Oh, Shit, that's not, not good. good. It was the guy running it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. The wind just, just went crazy, crazy guys. guys. Oh, yeah, it's a bad Disney sequel. Could you imagine yeah. if there was a person like a kid that didn't know what the hell to do? He's just trapped in there. Away. Remember, there was the balloon kid. Yeah, well, in years that, ago, mm-hmm. floated away in the from the backyard. And it was a whole hoax. Yeah. Oh, it was a hoax. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Mm-hmm. What was his name? Wasn't it like a poor Rican kid or something? I don't know. The dad, he's lied about his kid being in there. And he's got a bunch of media attention for it. And a GoFundMe. <laughs> and probably some jail time. I hope so. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, go fuck yourself. Go, fu- go fuck me. <laughs> yeah, go fuck me. <laughs> go fuck me. Am I right? Sounds uh, like a good business idea. And then you have an email that got pulled in last second. What you got here? Yeah, uh, this, is, this says, hey, guys, I just remembered a little snippet from my childhood. We had a farm. 
more like a petting zoo. <laughs> At one point in my childhood, my little brother was probably about seven. <clears throat> I talked him into peeing on a hot wire. Mm. Now, mind you, this was an electric fence to keep a huge boar <laughs> in his pen. Anyway, he peed on it. It zapped him so hard it gave him a bloody nose. God. I have no nieces or nephews yet, <laughs> so should I be worried? Okay. Nah. Okay, bye. Okay. By the way, Brian, I just realized my stupid name is with a Y and seven I as well. Danielle. Is it Danielle? Yeah. Danielle. Danielle. You just noticed? Danielle. She Danielle. just now, yeah. You're like, whoa, what? That's, That's crazy. Weird. I thought I was writing an I this whole time. <laughs> what the fuck happened? I've never seen Danielle spelled like that, though. Never. Be happy with that. Be just be you know, a don't unique. just be another Danielle. Be a Danielle. You know? Yeah, I get it. Uh, Danielle! <laughs> being on electric fences. What a, what a good Oof. time. What a nice zap of the old peen. You guys ever it just, done it? He just, just zapped all potential babies out of his dick. Or I superpowered him. Yeah. Like this is. Well, so the- Superman got bit by a spider. What Superman do you turn Didn't into? Spider Man get bit by a spider. What I say, Superman. That's not it. <laughs> spider. I mean, it's like Batman got bit by a walrus, <laughs> and he looks fine. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Look at him. Spider Man bit by a bat. <laughs> You're like, what are you doing, <laughs> fucking hag? <laughs> but what superpower? What super Green lantern got bit by a lantern? Well, when a he lantern. Was camping. A scary one though. It had yeah, his tail on it. Green. <laughs> yeah. <It was> nuclear. <laughs> nuclear lantern. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, what superhero do you become when you pee on electric fence? <laughs> Zap man. Ooh. Zappity doo. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> That's probably yeah. Adam Sandler. You turned out something you Adam Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start the show. Yeah. No, let's, let's roll it. <laughs> hey, shut up. Start the show already. Um, okay. Here Shit, we I was, go. I was ready to say a thing. I peed on it. I didn't oh. pee on a fence, but I touched one with a wet glove one time. <sighs> Why did you do that? I, I was trying to crawl over my parents' fence, and they had an electric mm-hmm. fence to keep the cats out because we had a bunch of dogs. Yeah. And I had a glove on that was soaking wet, and I got on top of a metal garbage can. Remember those? Oh, yeah. And I had shoes on, so it wasn't the metal garbage can, and I went fucking flying backwards. Oh. It was... Like the kid on Jurassic Park? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, Three. It was kind of like Tommy Boy, except for I wasn't peeing. Yeah. It was, yeah, it's bad. My dad had an electric fence, and we used to grab it for fun. <laughs> right? You'd get, you'd get drunk, and then you'd make a chain of people. One person would grab onto mm. it, and then you'd make a big old ring, and the other person would stand on the other side and be like, ready? Ready? And you'd grab it, and it would go, you just hear it in a line, and go, <laughs> <laughs> as it, as it, everyone's going, ah, ah, Yeah, it's never at the same time. Like, there yeah. is a delay. It's like, ah, 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 ah. It yeah. skips around everybody. Well, if, well, you hit, if you hit the fence onto the wood, it won't shock you, right? That's the thing. If it hits the... It hits the wood pole? If, if, yeah, if you get the, the wire down onto the wood, it won't get you. Okay. That's Or at least that's what happened to us with our fence. Like a, oh, And then gotcha. I just missed it. I didn't Ours was it. like, it was uh, like the top one, it was above the wood. Oh, you. Yeah. It was like basically like you were trying to keep a horse in. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that. But we were trying to keep a dog in. <laughs> and it worked. It I, does. They don't like being shocked. I no. drove a lot of, I drove a tractor a lot when I was younger, so mm-hmm. I was around electric fences a lot mm-hmm. to the point to where I wasn't sure if... They were electric or not, so I just treated them all like they were electric. <laughs> electric fences. Yeah. Like, well, this one doesn't have a sign. I had, like, <laughs> I had, le- you know, leather leather mm-hmm. gloves and stuff to, to grab, but you just still, it's like, ooh. Yeah, still a little zing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get it. Mm-hmm. Um, so our starting... So I touch it with my penis first to test <laughs> yeah. it. Flap anyway. it on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nope, nope, um, nope. Our starting question, not a would you rather, but a pretty fun one. What was the time that you got in the most trouble by your parents? I mean, I, it's got everybody has one. Unless you're still like a kid and you're like, like you're 12 years old listening to this right now, you're like, I don't know. I feel like when they told me I had to go to school when I felt sick, I was pretty fucked up. <laughs> when I was real little, my first business idea was to sell my parents' business cards to my neighbors. Yeah. Like one business card for about a dollar so I could go get candy. Okay. And where I live, there's a store. It was probably a mile away, not too far, but far enough for like a five year old. I was five. Mm-hmm. This was the most mad I've ever seen my dad. Really? And yeah, I just I started selling business cards door to door to try and get money for candy. And I brought this little girl that was younger than me, so like three or four, with me. And we walked down a busy ass road. And I'd never seen my dad so pissed off. And like my dad wasn't a violent guy, but he was like, "Today I'm going to be pretty pissed off and violent." So <laughs> it was like, and that was the most mad. And it was just because they were scared because they're like, "What the fuck?" Right. 
But I thought, you know, I started my first business. What kind five. of scam is this? <laughs> right. <laughs> is I, got, scam? I got some candy, though. It was all right. You know, uh, sorry, I might have missed the first part of this. My computer is being fucking weird. Um, what business cards were you selling? My mom had a pet store called Thunder Mountain Dog Supply. She was selling them a card. I was selling them a business <laughs> card that's meant to promote the business. And a couple people, uh, actually, nobody bought it, I don't think, but somebody just gave me a dollar once. So. <laughs> like, you fucking clown. Yeah, dude. And I had, like, a whole sales pitch, and I'd never even done it. I was five. Sales <laughs> Dude, I think it's a good like, card, and I think you should take it and come to dude, this store and give me a dollar. Like being in, in Las Vegas, yeah. And someone's there. Like you have to pay them to hand you a flyer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's what Zach's business model was. You know, it would work. The overhead wasn't bad at all. <laughs> free free that, business card. Oh, that old Mitch Hedgeberg uh, joke. Here you throw this away. Yeah, mm -hmm. the flyer. He's like, here you throw this away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> He's like, here, can I give you a business card? You know, you not buy? all businesses start out just working great. You know, <laughs> you got to work at them. Yeah, I mean, you got. It's, it's how you get back up. It's how you rebound. That's right. It's like what you do after you're at your lowest point, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like you've done pretty damn good, Zach. It's been all right. Now <laughs> I sell customer return cards, and I've upgraded quite a bit. <laughs> was that just that, but it started that entrepreneurial spirit mentality. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Oh, indeed. That's good. And then I got thrown against the wall. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, that's fun. Mm, that's yeah. fun. Uh, Brian, what's what you got there? What was the biggest parent trouble thing? <clears throat> I had to think about it. I didn't, you know, I didn't do a lot of lot of stupid shit. But the one thing that I remember my mom being so angry about was she worked at the high school where I went to school, and so she had you know teacher like she had so many friends, and so anything that if I got in trouble at school was a was a big deal because then everyone came to her yeah. like oh Brian. So it was just, it was embarrassing for her and all that kind of stuff. So I graduated in 2001 and we hit, and we were like doing like gang signs, like 01, like that, like we'd, for that, whenever we were in pictures and stuff, we we're always like 01, yeah. you know, like, yeah. And so uh, we were at a basketball game one time or football game, I can't remember. And I had maroon gold gloves on mm -hmm. because that was our school colors. Mm -hmm. And I was going like this. Oh, is that the school? They were doing an article for the paper, and they posted right in the front page of the paper. Mm -hmm. It was us, you know, doing that. But I was going like this, and it looked like I was flipping off the camera. Uh -huh. And so the the school and the newspaper started getting calls from all over town, <laughs> and it turned into this big old thing mm -hmm. yes. that 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 Albrand kid was <laughs> flipping off the camera. And for I a, thought he was know, a good kid, a small town. Mm -hmm. Um. They shut down the fountain. They're like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They shut down the motors, yeah. like fountain. I mean, that's that's <laughs> Mount, the the fountains at half mass. You. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a huge loss for the community. <laughs> They're so disappointed they it's, can't look at it it's anymore. Sputtering. <laughs> they, I mean, they wouldn't dare turn it all the way off. No, no, you got you, you can't, can't get started. Again. You, yeah, you can't get all the air and the water out of the out of the the tubes. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the fountain sputtering? Like, have you seen the paper? Have you seen the front page of the paper? paper? Take a look at it. And they shake, they shake it out. They have it all blown up. Like, look mm -hmm. at it. This is Brian. <laughs> look at it. This is Brian with That's, a Y. This is the, this is the Denise's son. Look Denise's at Denise's son right here. Yeah, Brian. Small, but you know, small town. Everybody knows everybody. everybody's shit. All mm -hmm. that. And so, <laughs> as far as everyone in town is concerned. My mom's son was flipping off the entire town on the front page of the newspaper. Who do you think you are? Yeah. Brian? I'm, my mom, I don't remember what, how my dad reacted. He probably didn't, because it, it was like, it wasn't a big deal, because I wasn't flipping off the camera. Tell it to remember, the judge. I had to go to the principal's office, and it was this whole thing, and it made a big deal, and I'm, I'm telling him, like, I'm not flipping off the camera. Look at the <laughs> other people doing it. It just, I have gloves on. And I was like, no, I couldn't. <laughs> It was like my mom just wouldn't hear it. She could not. Yeah, she, was she was so, so disappointed. Angry, even though I was like, "I'm telling you, I'm not doing what you think I'm doing." Um, so that was a that was a big that was a big moment. Do you have a picture of the picture? Uh, I don't know. Probably no. <laughs> you don't have it blown up somewhere? No. It might be saved somewhere. <laughs> but then uh, I didn't get in trouble from for this. But I remember it, this was like a whoa big. So when I was driving tractor. I worked the irrig irrigation district. Driving tractor. Yeah. Tractors. That's so old school. That, 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 that's why I know you're from a small town is when you just like take the word like A out of it. Like you were driving a tractor. <laughs> you oh, were yeah, driving yeah. tractor. Yeah. Driving yeah. horse. <laughs> when I was riding horse. When I was horsing. <laughs> 
I was out there just driving tractor. I was just driving tractor. You know what I mean? I was jumping pool. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you? I was flying plane. <laughs> you fly plane. <laughs> I was cropping dust. <laughs> I did that a lot. I bet you did. Speaking of that, when I would, <laughs> when I used to drive my tractor, mm-hmm. a tractor, I'd get out to pee, and sometimes crop dusters would fly by, and they would just buzz my tractor. <laughs> it was your best friends flipping yeah. you off. Yeah. Like, nice car. Thanks yeah, for the yeah. thanks for the fucking Moses Lake fountain. You Dude, piece of shit. I'd just be peeing all of a sudden. I hear <laughs> like come from behind me, <laughs> just around, and it was giving me a little wave. They're flying. So anyway, I uh, there was this lady that lived. Out in the country, obviously, and she had this old corral in her house and all stuff. And she was um, living house. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a whole thing. She's now. living house and fucking driving car. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can live life. Yeah. Right. You're yeah. living life. Living life. Driving you're not living tra- out life. You're no. living life. Living life. Driving tractor. Right. Driving car. Living house. <laughs> Just you know keep I mean? on living, bro. <laughs> Just keep on doing you, man. You. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm driving along, and I, it's got blades, and I'm going in. So the area that I was in, there's a lot of cheat grass. You know, cheat is like the re- very flammable. So mm. flammable is a hot air balloon. So I'm going along, <laughs> and I'm, blades are going, and it dings a rock, and I didn't know this at the time, and it sent a spark in the cheat grass. And started a little, you know, just a little bit of ember going. Started and fire. I, so I'm heading down the ditch, and I'm cutting along the along the edge there. And I get down far enough, and I look back, and I just saw see smoke. I'm like, oh no, don't tell me. So I keep going a little bit farther, mm-hmm. and then I look back, and it's in the rearview mirror, and it's just golfing with flames, just nice. like you know, like the PGA Tour, just golfing, <laughs> and. All of a sudden, I see fire trucks ripping by and stuff. And then while I'm looking back, I I drive my tractor into the ditch. <laughs> so I'm sitting. Ditch. So I'm sitting. Well, <laughs> that's funny. My dad used to drive ditch, <laughs> or he used to ride ditch. I fucking bet he did. So he used to go and check all the, <laughs> the so the farmers would order water, and so he'd go. He'd have to turn the from the ditch. You turn the water on. They farmers pay for a certain amount of water mm-hmm. to water the crops thing. to. To water crops. <laughs> and uh, so he would ride ditch. That's what we call it, is riding ditch. So on Saturday, sometimes he's like, I'm riding ditch. You want to go with me? Mm. And would you go? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Well, one time. Uh, so what you know the fire? Do you know, skip off do you know the fire? what a spillway is? Yes, I know about all, all the wa- these things. Okay, so a deer was going <laughs> in the big fucking canal that comes from the Columbia River. Mm-hmm. It's rolling through. And... There was a deer that was in the water, and so we tried to stop and get it out and for miles and miles. So when eventually we just had to leave. We couldn't get it. And so we we get down to where the spillway is, and by the time we get down there, the deer's in the spillway. Mm-hmm. It's, it's jumping around like this, and it's it's going to die. It's going to drown. My dad rigs up like this chain lasso type thing. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what he used exactly. And he's forever trying to wrangle this thing up. He finally gets it around him and then latches it and fucking pulls this deer up over the walkway. It was basically like a catwalk over mm-hmm. the top of the spillway. Gets it up over the thing, and then it's laying down on this catwalk, and it's just kind of shaking a little bit. And so my dad's like, he wants before we leave, he wants to make sure it's okay. So he pokes it a little bit with a stick, and this thing hops up and starts going. Oh, I'm punching him and hits my like like the <laughs> fucking kangaroo yeah. boxing match, and almost knocks my dad over the railing into the spillway? into the spillway, and he would have drowned there. So it's like we all this time with hours trying to save this fucking deer and he almost kills him in in an instant. Nature loves us. <laughs> anyway, back to the fire. Thanks for nothing. So I I had the biggest insurance claim in the history of Moses Lake. Of the, yeah, for uh burning up this whole lady's corral and everything. There were no animals in it, Jesus. which is good. That is I was burning corral. <laughs> yeah, you were burning corral, starting fire. Yep. <laughs> kind of an outlaw. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little okay. bit. That's some naughty stuff, right? My dad wasn't mad at me, but it was kind of like hmm. You know, like, man, what do you do? Maybe next time, could you just don't do that? <laughs> yeah. Um, can you don't burn up some lady's <laughs> yeah, farm? That'd be great. <laughs> anyway, Sober's ready. <laughs> uh, I'm just picturing like a serious conversation between your parents. And she, they call you Brian with a Y. Mm. Brian with a Y. Brian with a Y. Hi, uh, Brian with a Y. You know what this That's, looks like? Is that what they do? What? The, the sticker, it looks like a, looks like a llama. <laughs> It looks like a laying down llama. It does. It does. Hibernating llama. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay, my biggest in trouble story. And uh, I mean, this is just one of the, it's the fucking example of, 
I, I, whatever. It doesn't matter the example. So this it must have been early high school. <clears throat> Me, my best friend, Craig. What's up, Craig? He listens. What's up, Craig? What's up, Craig? Enjoy that new baby, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's had another kid, Come dude. on, Craig. What's up, Craig? Come on, Craig. Um, it's Friday, right? Yeah. And then, uh, so he's staying over, and there's these two girls, and they live in a town that's about 11 miles away. Again, back to, so I'm, I'm driving road. Mm, you're driving road, yeah. I see. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you want to see these girls, you're going to be driving road. Just living life, driving, driving road. road. <laughs> see in <laughs> town. See in town, start the fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, big t- big city shit. As you do. And um, no, and the, he was like, hey, you know, can they can they come over? I was like, ah, I don't know. Like my parents are sleeping, or my dad, my stepmom are sleeping. I'm like, ah, I mean, sure, let's do dad it. Dad sleep, mom eat. <laughs> mom, mom sleep, dad sleep. I drive road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, I was like, well, I'm not gonna go get them. Like I can't drive, blah blah. And like, okay, so they get a taxi from this town. It's about 11 miles away. Taxi back, yeah, <laughs> down down to our mm-hmm. town, and they hang out. Like it wasn't like it wasn't long. It was like probably like, three hours. Just like. Hanging out with these girls in my room. So anyway, they're like, okay, got to go back home. Because they're sneaking out too. And we're sneaking girls over. And um, it gets to a point where, okay, you got to get the fuck out of here. Being from small town, again, just saying taxi. uh, Taxis close in small towns. Mm. Didn't really know this at that age. I guess thought you could just call a taxi. Taxis close in a small Mm -hmm. town. (laughs) No one picks you up in small town. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so they went to call a taxi. Taxi place is like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> They're like, no, you're gonna. No, I just got off, dude. Yeah, like I don't know. You're gonna die there because like three or four in the you're morning. Die in a small town. <laughs> <You're gonna> die. <laughs> no taxi in a small town. Probably die in a small <laughs> town. <laughs> Driving ditch in a small town. Got a pretty mouth in a small town. <laughs> Driving tractor too. <laughs> Starting fire in a small town. <laughs> Got punched by a deer in a small town. <laughs> no, they never shot up that fountain in a small town. <laughs> <laughs> so they couldn't get a taxi back. So here I am. Oh, I'm now like, I can't uh, get right <laughs> back. Oh, where I'm going to be. Anyway. And so we pack him up, and I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'm driving him. I just probably barely got my license. I'm like, fucking let's go, dude. So we pack everybody up. We drive. It's fucking snowing. It's like a blizzard at this point. And I drive, I get them back safely to where they're going, drop them off. Like, thank God, half fun sneaking in. Good to see you. Take off, make it back home. And for like for that day, thanks for the dry hump. Yeah, <laughs> for, for that day, for two days, nothing like nothing ever came from it. And then they got a call from the one of the girls' dads, and they saw footprints from the girls in the snow heading back to the house. Right, and this guy is a fucking lunatic. He's uh, a very successful lawyer, mm-hmm. so now he's suing. To like, oh, he's not, he's threatening to sue my dad. Like, we fucking kidnapped him. There's no record of them taking a taxi drive. <laughs> like, so the taxi company, the dude that drove it again, no records in a small town. <laughs> so, we don't got no computers in a small <laughs> town. So just give me your cash, call it good. <laughs> so the taxis people, dug, like, not, not that it even matters, matters, but the lawyer, like, he, whatever, he's just fucking scaring the shit out of my dad. Like, like, we don't have anything, and here's this giant... Like, they're fucking loaded. They live in a $5 million house, and this dude is threatening to sue, like, my dad. <laughs> he was like, we're, I'm having fucking brain burritos every day of the week. Just a guy. Just making it. <laughs> Barely making it. And he's like... And so my dad, like, this is the maddest I've ever seen him. He's so pissed. And because, like, he's scared... And he thinks, like, I don't know what he thought. Like, I went in there fucking kidnapped at the fucking... Mm-hmm. He's like, they don't have any record of it. Taxi, blah, blah. And I was like, well, I don't fucking know. I didn't go pick him up. I was like, I didn't pick him up. They got dropped off the taxi right here. And he got so frustrated. And I started getting frustrated. And then I got the, the reminder that you're the son and he's the dad. Mm. So I was getting, like, frustrating and yelling. And then just like Zach, like, I just got shoved. And I was like, oh, man. Like dad I, strength. I, I'm a back. I'm, I'm like getting, you know, coming into my own body. And I was like, I could fucking take this old bag. <laughs> <laughs> like, not really, but every guy has that thing. Mm. You're like, I'd be my dad. I'm, my now, I'm the new alpha. Mm-hmm. That kind of feel. The moment you beat him at basketball once or something. Yeah. Like, now I'm the man. You're like, house. move, pack your shit. I'm the man of the house. <laughs> you yeah. beat him at, at a fucking 21 on the <laughs> driveway basketball court. Mm. You're like, I'll get, I'll, I'll call you, Hall. Get your shit out of my fucking house, <laughs> you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> You make more free throws than him. You're like, all right, I'll help you get your bet out. Yeah. 
fucking loser. Um, no, but he shoved me, and I was like, oh, no. And that was the only time that my dad has, like, ever laid hands on me. And I went flying. It's because I was like, I'm telling you. I, and I was, like, getting mm-hmm. mad because I was being defensive. And I was, I mean, ended up turning into nothing. But the girls, like, they were trying to, like, protect themselves. So they were lying about how they got there and all this kind of shit. Anyway, so it came out later, and the dad ended up like visiting my dad and apologizing and all that kind of stuff, and beating the shit out of him. Um, (laughs) No, but like that was that was it. He was just scared and gave me a a shove and reminder of like, don't you fucking yell at me? Don't you you stepping up? Yeah, you fucking you. How about you fucking don't do that? All right, Simba, you just wait your turn. And I flew flew right back. All right, we're running a little bit long on the front end. Let's get into the uh, what are you thinking about? Okay, you ready? All right, Zach. Hey. Hey, what's up, babe? What are you thinking about? Ah, you know, nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about a lot of shit. What are you thinking about? Uh, I'm going to make this a quick story and we'll get off into dick this week. This past weekend, took advantage of some uh, unusual seasonally warm temperatures and decided to get one more camping trip in. Which around this time, I mean, you're kind of... Last year it was snowing, right? Uh, right around this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's every. It seems like every early October, except for yeah, a couple. Remember that? Fuck, dude. It snowed like seven inches October first, and I was like, I'm gonna move. I can't do this. I'm not ready. The, the leaves haven't even, hadn't even fell yet. Yeah, and the, then the snow hit. That's why I snapped all. Remember, I snapped all the yeah. branches off, and all the power went out everywhere. Yeah, I remember. Because <laughs> it was your tree and your power. Yeah. Um. So we took advantage <clears> of it. <throat> went over to a town that's just a funny little town, in. Like, I guess, what, is that central? Northern central North Washington? Central. North central Washington. Called Leavenworth, which, uh, you know, fucking Shrek town. Good thing like, all, all the font is Shrek. It's like Disneyland without any rides. <laughs> it's just like... It's, you get mixed schnitzels if you want. If you want. It's a whole German-Dutch-based yeah. thing, and it's fun. And they have a mountain coaster now, by the way. That's a ton of fun. Yeah. And so, Oktoberfest. <laughs> yeah, and it was Oktoberfest. So we brought all the kids. Me, Cassie, girlfriend, and then and uh, her kid, and the my, kids had beers. Yes, Everybody they, was drunk. They, mm-hmm. we, I was the DD. My kids were hammered. Mm-hmm. But they had a little mountain coaster. That was fun. Anyway, so we took them over there, and um, we get everything packed up. We're renting a camper, again, because we know it's going to be cold at night. Like it did drop down into the 30s. Fuck being in a tent. It's not ready for that, so we got a camper. And did you do this because you couldn't get a place to stay? No. Just so for you, were cho- you chose to camp. Chose to camp. Okay. And the camping spot was awesome. It was like, you know, 20, 25 miles or 25 minutes out this canyon. So probably 10 miles. It was, it was beautiful. It was great. So before we head out of town, we got everything finally packed up in the camper we're, uh, that we're renting. And we got all ready to go. But like now the kids want a little breakfast because we're heading out early on this Friday morning. And so we go like, all right, fuck. We'll just go by and grab something at McDonald's. And we go to the McDonald's up here on Wellesley. Is that the street? That's probably too far up. Whatever. It's it's by where the studio was at here in beautiful Spokane, Washington. <laughs> Every time you say beautiful, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the hood. <laughs> Quick note. The night of that, that drive-by shooting here, <laughs> people are moving in across the street. Oh, they're like, oh, shit. Welcome to the neighborhood. They're moving a couch. <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> you open the door, it's like, it's not usually this bad. Have a good night. <laughs> Click. And then the deadbolt sound. It's, this never happens. <laughs> it's, never, it's been weeks. It's been weeks, yeah. Uh, so we're getting ready. We, go, we decided to go at McDonald's here and um, get out. Everything's fine. And we get in there and we order food and we're standing there. As I'm standing there, I start sniffing. And my sniffer is not the best. I don't have a great sniffer because of drugs. Mm, on account of the cocaine. On account of the cocaine. And so my sniffer is not that great. Hasn't been for a long time. And it smells. Can you smell this? It's funny, funny you do a leaner. Okay. It smelled like shit. Like, not just like, oh, someone tooted. Mm. It wasn't like a, like a little poop. Someone pooped. Like, so, it is like rotting shit. Awful shit smell, but just a hint of it. And I smell it. I'm like, does this smell like shit? And I'm, you know, looking around, and, and you know, the kids are all sniffing. They're like, they're like, oh, yeah, no, it's, it's almost like poop. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. And it starts getting a little worse and a little worse. And then this guy, this old man that is standing next to us, he walks away for a second to throw something away, and the poop smell goes away. <laughs> okay? And I'm like, all right, all right. Cold, so uh, There's ground zero. <laughs> there's, there's grandpa zero. 
And and then he walks back and the shit smell comes back. <laughs> yeah. And so now it smells like fucking big muffins and big shit pants. Okay. <laughs> And he's old. I'm like, oh, pants. like, and I feel bad. I'm like, guys, oh, he's when he's putting poop his diaper, and I feel bad because, like, maybe I was like, because then, your stomach is turning. That's why you yeah. feel bad. <laughs> and I also had to just deal with it, like, with my dad. Oh yeah, you know, I'm like, I don't know what's going on with this guy. He's old and he's shitting his pants, but he just really wants a McMuffin. So who am I? McGriddle, for all yeah. I know. And one day it may be you too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting a Mc, just trying to mind my business. Getting a McGriddle and an orange juice. Dookie in your pants. With the, with the shit with a loaf in my pants. But you'll be in a tube, though, <laughs> by the yeah, time. I'll be in a tube. That's right. Yeah. So he he clearly has a pants full of shit. And it is like, you can tell, if I were to get a full sample of this, it would be really, really bad. A little foreshadowing for you. So, Like if you, pull, you put your if face I, in his if, butt? Yeah, if I had to pull his pants down and take his diaper off, I'd get a, like all the scents I need. Um <laughs> And I was like, thank God I'm not changing your diaper today. Give my food. And I bounce out and we get back to the truck. We're about to head out. And Ezra, uh, right before we head out the door, he goes, I gotta go to the bathroom. And I'm like, okay. So he runs into the bathroom to go to go potty before we begin our trip out to go camping. And then he comes running back oh. out the door. And he's going like this, like running across the parking lot, holding his nose. Oh no. And he goes, Dad, dad, dad. I was like, what? He goes, the old man's in the bathroom. And I was like, okay. I was like, well, go pee. He goes, it smells so bad. I was like, I mean, is it? it's a bathroom. It's going to smell bad. It's, it's a McDonald's bathroom. <laughs> it's going to have a little bit of something, a little flavor. A little extra. And he's like, come with me. And I was like, oh, fine. But we can take this little sissy boy pee before he pees his pee-pee pants. You big baby. You want diaper Ezra? Fuck. So we walk in. And as we're walking back to the bathroom, the old man with the shit diaper comes walking out, just smiling, <laughs> just nonchalant. Like he, I don't know, whatever. I walk, we, I push that door open. It is the worst <laughs> smell of shit. I, I gag. I go Ugh! like, and Ezra runs back out the door again. But, but we have to get out of town. Like we got places to be. There's an Oktoberfest that we're missing. So I'm like, I'm like, you know, I do this number. I pulled it. I go, Ezra, just pull your shirt over your nose, blah, blah. And he goes, he goes, okay, okay. He pulls it over and he walks in. He goes, uh, uh, and I'm sitting there and I'm doing like the, like, like trying to only breathe through my mouth situation. So I'm peeing and I'm going, and Ezra is over trying to pee. And I hear him like muffled. He goes, uh, he goes, am I standing in pee? And I look down and I'm also standing in pee. And there's piss from the stall that has leaked from the stall underneath both urinals. And I'm like, I'm like, just, just finish peeing and we'll figure it out. He goes, okay. And he starts hacking. And then he goes, and throws up inside oh. of his sweatshirt while he's peeing. Oh, no. Okay. So now the inside of his sweatshirt is covered in vomit. That McDonald's is a super fun sight which now. Which is making him more want to vomit. He goes, and and I'm like, he's like, I just threw up on my shirt. And I'm like, well, I was like, okay, hold on. Like, I'm almost done. We'll get it figured out. And then he backs away. And I just hear from him. He goes, he just goes, oh my God. And I turn around, I look, and he's looking in the stall. Oh, okay. No. And I get done peeing and I back up. And there's just shit and piss all over the toilet seat and the floor. From dusk till dawn. And dried up shit from like a diaper. That just rubbed like all over the toilet seat. And then I have to run forward and I throw up in the urinal. So my son has an inside of his sweatshirt covered in shit while dad's throwing up in the urinal in a fucking McDonald's bathroom. You come back to the family like, that's you know, great. I, I come out and you, you can't explain that stink to anybody. Like I'm coming out, like we're both like, I have water. I'm still gagging, like walking across the parking lot. Girlfriend, kids, I'm just like trying not to throw up. And then Ezra like had to peel his throw up sweatshirt over his face. Oh, fuck. Like trying to keep it off, but I can smell it. And he's just like, he's like, dad, dad, it's like, like rubbing his own vomit on oh, his face. And that's... I'm just going, Bleh! and like everyone's eating fucking hash browns inside the cab. <laughs> like you guys don't even know. Imagine, how... 
Ugh. Imagine the janitor, dude. I know. Uh, that, I told. He probably uh, quit. I told oh, yeah. Essie about that. And then whatever. It, it was terrible. You get the idea. And we get back in town, you know, three days later. And we're driving back. And Ezra goes, because he never does anything wrong. and doesn't swear. And he goes, if we drive by the McDonald's, can I flip it off? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that'll show him. That'll show him. <laughs> yeah. And, he, and he, he asked, he goes, who had to clean it? I was like, I hope they quit. Like that, not, go work at another McDonald's. Go work anywhere besides that fucking shit show. It was awful. And it should be you, a bonus for that. And then you checked the, the paper and there was an obituary. Dude. In there. <sighs> I, can't, I, can't, I, can't even, I can't even begin to describe it. It was the worst shit I've ever fucking seen in my life. That's, anyway. So there uh, you go. But I'll still go to McDonald's. Oh, yeah. <sighs> That's just, there's so much going on there. There was, yeah, I mean, a grown man throwing up in a urinal and a kid covered the inside of his sweatshirt with throw up over some dude's poop. Like, God damn, dude. And then just like, as we were leaving, he walks by the truck, like waddles by, like, <laughs> going home <laughs> with my biscuits. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he knows that it. That he caused all that. He has to, right? People that were sitting by him when he was like before he went to the bathroom were leaving. Like maybe this is just his kink. I don't fucking know. Because <laughs> some people just want to watch the world burn, <laughs> and this might have been one of them, dude. I don't know. All right, let's slide off over into Dick. We might not have time for all the things we have in here, but let's get to some of it, okay? Oh, okay. Not- <laughs> don't- oh, thinking about it makes me want to throw up, dude. I fucking yeah. hate it. I know. Z- yeah! Is it? Dumb? All right, what do you guys say we do one dick for this week? Doesn't happen very often, but we just had we just had a lot to get to this week. Uh, mm. Which one do you want to do, Brian? Do you want to? I'm we do having a hard time. Wait, I, I hinted a little bit about this to you about the the suicide sip. Let's let's fucking do this one. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I guess apparently, I hate when this happens all the time when you're researching articles and you're doing stuff, and it, the website works perfectly fine, and you go back to it when you're doing a live show. And it's like everything you already said of allowed to is like, are we sure? Mm, you sure about that? You want cookies? You want it's brownies? Been an hour. Are you still good? <laughs> you want peanut butter cookies? Mm-hmm. You want to turn your ad blocker off again because you already turned it off once? You want to do it again? You want to shit your pants? Um, this headline alone is such a fucking... Oh, man. And I, I get it. I get how this happened because curiosity sometimes gets the best of you. It kills the cat, doesn't it? It does. A man thought it was a good idea to take a sip of his friend's assisted suicide cocktail. <laughs> what? He's like, a smarty. So after his terminally ill friend described the preparation as bitter, this patient ingested an unknown size sip of the preparation. Preparation age, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean. So at a North American clin- uh, Clinical mm. Congress of Toxicology annual conference in Montreal over the weekend, a case study was presented involving a 37-year-old man from Denver who survived after swallowing a sip of a cocktail of assisted suicide drugs during a end-of-life celebration for a friend dying of pancreatic cancer. So he was trying to be like solidarity guy, huh? Like something, just mm. like, it's that classic, like, think about the Mc- McDonald's bathroom. You're like, oh my God, it's the worst thing I've ever smelled. Smell it. You smell it. Mm-hmm. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come here, and you're like, no, like, come on, you have to do it. Mm-hmm. You just want to share that. Mm-hmm. It's like a misery loves company kind of thing, but with like, you know, a shitty toilet seat. So after the patient's friend consumed part of the preparation, don't push the red button and described it as bitter. The patient ingested as unknown, uh, ingested the unknown size sip of the preparation, which included lethal doses of drugs to cause the person ending their life to lose consciousness and to stop the heart. According to those attending the discussion on the management of medical emergencies, 37 year old who had a history of anxiety, attention deficit disorder and chronic pain made a full recovery over a few days for what was reported to the toxic or what was reported at the toxicology conference. But just imagining like being in a place with your friend and they have this thing, right? You're like, this is it. Like, this is the thing I'm going to drink to fucking end my life. And you're like, let me take a hit. Toast. Uh, <laughs> toast. Wait, I don't have a drink. Yeah, I don't have a drink. You have a sip of mine. And you're like, oh, cool. This one's going to kill you? Yeah, what's that taste like? Just like the... <laughs> I mean, I get I get the curiosity. Like, Me too. This is, to, this is supposed to kill you. What does something like that taste, taste like? like? Yeah. Is it like Gatorade or... So when I get pancreatic cancer later and I want to kill myself, at least you know what you're, you're in for. Right. Yeah. And then... And then I don't like surprises, Joe. <laughs> and then also with the <clears throat> end of life thing, I mean, 
It feels like you could at least try to make it taste good. Right? right? A yeah, I mean, you, yeah. Yeah, a little cherry, a little little orange slice Some on the side. Sugar. Like you you <laughs> want it to it's like what are you worried about your glucose right, right now? Yeah, you, you know? you worry about something like you you have diabetes. Right. Dude. And you're like, "Oh, I don't want to go over my limit." This might be off topic, but when my mom was passing away, she was like, "Hey, can somebody get some uh, the eye drops for my eyes?" <laughs> yeah. And she wanted a specific kind and we didn't have them and she was like, "No, not that kind. They're bad for me." It's like, "Mom, you're in hospice." Like literally, today's the last day. You're good. You can take them. But like, mom, listen. I can either give you the eye drops or pull the plug. <laughs> like, we're right on the fence. Like, just take them. It was just so cute. She's like, I can't have that. There's a lot of sugar. It's like, mom, you can have all the sugar you want. It's all good. You can literally do anything you want. <laughs> Sorry, that just reminded no, it's me of so that. so good. Like, you're so you're, right now. You're a superwoman. Yeah, yeah exactly. For right now, a few minutes. Right, right now, literally anything. You want to go skydiving without a parachute? Fucking do it, Let's superwoman. Do it. Have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. I've got Fuck a story it. about that a little save, later. Save me a ton of stress, right? <laughs> save me a ton of stress. I want to fucking pull this plug or give some, some doctor a nod. Just go jump out of an airplane. Would have been yeah, more fun. You, yeah. Your conscience would what? thank you. Yeah, exactly. No shit. One last great ride before the ride's over. Yeah. Uh, so the American Academy of Clinical Te- uh, Toxicology... Uh, the conference that did host it did respond or did not or did not respond to requests for more information about the case. They're probably just like, like nothing to say. Like who would who would who would do that? After his first swallow, he remarked, "Man, that burns." <laughs> the younger man said, "Let me see," <laughs> and then also took a swallow. So the guy that was trying to kill himself, they didn't try to save him. Then the guy obviously that did do it. Or it did not mean to kill himself. They brought him to the hospital, which is also such a funny scene if you're looking at emergency services. Yeah. Which one do we? Yeah. <laughs> this guy wanted to die. This guy was just curious. <laughs> 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 what, what? What do you mean? Yeah, he's an idiot, but he I don't, he doesn't want to die. He didn't say he, this guy right here said he wanted to die. <laughs> this guy he's was like, dying anyway. This guy's like fuck this. This guy's like I don't know. Let me try that shit. This guy was just curious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The person that has to respond and point him out doesn't know either one. Mm-hmm. I feel, I'm pretty sure this guy was like, fuck it. And this guy was like, what's that taste like? Some guy uh, like on I the think. street. So like a, a bystander. Yeah. It's like, well, I heard him talking. This guy mentioned he had like AIDS or something. Right. And he was going to die or so he was already going to drink it. And this guy was just like, dude, what's that taste like? Right. What like, was it him? Know. Oh, shit. Wait, oh, no, he, he had the AIDS. Shirt. <laughs> yeah. No, he had the AIDS. Which one had this fucking striped shirt? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> shit! The guys they saved the dude that didn't want to die, <laughs> or did want to die. Did, he yeah. did want to die. Yeah. He's like, "What the fuck?" Oh, we did it, guys! <laughs> we did it. Oof. Like, damn, heaven is loud. <laughs> heaven is Heaven's loud. a lot like Earth. Oh, heaven sucks. Heaven, that's exactly where I wanted to leave. <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought that concept was like, I don't know, man. Just I don't know. You want to fucking try it? Fucking why not? All right, let's say let's it's like, talk- I'm not drinking at all. It's not yeah. gonna kill me, right? How powerful could this I be? I might get like a tummy ache. I feel like that's something that anyone who's ever drinking Everclear says. You guys ever had Everclear? Then, I've never <sighs> not the band. Maybe Father of Mine. Yeah. I'm still drinking. Name another uh, go and sing another song. That was it. Can't do it. Yeah, you can. Uh, Father of mine. Yeah. He's a radio DJ. He's going to win. Yeah. DJ. DJ. Downtown Spokane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head over to lap time. Okay. We got to get into it. Lap time. Hit it. Hey, little chitrons. Why don't you come take a seat on Uncle Zachy's lap? Gather around, boys and girls. It's lap time with Uncle Zach. Sit on my lap, you little shits. <laughs> All right, Zach, you you hinted towards some Halloween. We're doing Halloweens. I got a bunch of facts for you. Okay, let's fucking do some Halloween, Halloween. facts. The most important fact, I think, of all is that Halloween is not just Halloween. It is okay. actually National Doorknob Day. <laughs> what? I want how long you to think that, about that. How long is that? Oh, Ash, yeah. Well, it makes sense. It's a mm. it correlates with the thing. Yes, it does. So they were smart, smart people. Yeah, it's Lowe's. Lowe's has a doorknob special every Halloween. Because <laughs> <laughs> they know. They're the only ones that know. They are the ones that actually made the national holiday. Oh, that's funny. So I've got just a lot of random facts. Okay. And we'll see which one's interesting to you guys. So, All right. The first jack o' lantern. The pumpkins, which I love pumpkins. Pumpkins. They were turnips. Did you know that? I did know that. You did? Okay. And that's shit. 
It Think is. about how tiny your tools had to be. Yeah, you had to be precision. We were better. Our parents were better. They were well, like a uh, scalpel, like a <laughs> fucking scalpel. surgeon. Yeah, only doctors could have mm-hmm. turno turno lanterns. They were them. the only people that celebrated like dre- uh, whatever <laughs> what? De- decorating their house. <laughs> the how, only ones that could decorate them. How do you? I mean, how big is a turn up? They're very, pretty small. Yeah, and you, they put candles in them and shit. I think so. Yeah, absolutely. What a fucking. They had different beliefs, though. We're, we're talking I'm, about the Irish, the I'm Celtics. I'm glad. I'm glad we've gotten better than that. Mm. So, actually, before t- trick or treating, it was called souling. Souling. Yeah, but the funniest thing I found so far: there's lots of different versions of the three days in the Halloween area: All Souls Day, All Saints Day, Hallow's Eve. Eve. Yeah, but I think my favorite yeah. is that November first is called Hollowmas. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Why are we not using Hollowmas? We got Christmas and Hollowmas. What? What? We're going All Saints Day instead of Hollowmas? What would we? Yeah, I was gonna say. What the fuck? Why? I mean, we usually pick the cool thing, not the you know. Is there anything that comes along with? What Hallows? started first, Christmas or Halloween? I think uh, that's a good question. I think it was. It's going to be Halloween because it's a lot older. It's a pagan. Yeah, not yeah. called Halloween. <clears throat> well, yeah. isn't Christmas originally a pagan thing too, though? Yeah, it's from Saturnalia. So yeah. But I'm, it wasn't about uh, the Lord. Hallowmas. Do you know the the like origin? What do they do in Hallowmas? Lord Hallows. On, on what is it? They do a couple things. The souling was uh, poor people would go door to door, and they would trade prayers for soul cakes. So that was the first <laughs> trick or treating. Fuck that soul neighborhood. Cake. Is that like a G- Christ cr- cracker? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, a soul cake. Soul cake. <laughs> it's a Pope tart. Can you imagine? Pope tart. <laughs> oh my God! Can you imagine? <laughs> If you, even today, if I open the door and it's just the kids start doing like prayers, mm. I shut the door. Mm. I'm like, you're not getting a full size candy bar. That you happens? Waste of time. No, I'm, imagine that. Oh, okay. yeah. Imagine if that's the way it was. Like, open our it up. Father, be art and God. You're like, <laughs> our Father, take the candy and thou be off go. my deck. <laughs> you know, off be my fucking porch. More, <laughs> yeah. camera, more candy for me. More candy for me, you fucking losers. <laughs> you, yeah, you dweeb. Get concerts my- suck. Your co- fucking costume sucks anyway, dude. <laughs> yeah, so your concerts. <laughs> yeah. Your costume <laughs> sucks. Looks like a fucking peasant. How was it watching the Newsboys? <laughs> there's how, a, there's how original, a, another poor kid. A Christ uh, rock group <laughs> joke for you there. The Newsboys. Oh yeah, the news good. boys in okay. Christside. Christside, baby. yeah, they were a rap Biggest. group called yeah. Christside. <laughs> All right, I, asked, I also looked into why black and orange exist in Halloween. I thought that was interesting. Mm-hmm. And the first reason is because orange is strength and endurance. I didn't know that. I did not know and that. And because of leaves, probably. Yes, it also represents the also like the the brown and the gold represents the harvest, and black uh, represents death. Death. So it's the boundaries between life and death, and that is the orange. The harvest. The yeah. Now, Ireland is thought to be That'd the- be a sick-ass name, by the way, for Halloween. What? Just change it to The Harvest. Well, that's creepy. Isn't it? Yeah. You guys you guys go into The Harvest? I like oh, that. Yeah, spooky. The Soul the harvest. harvest Ball. The Harvest Ball. You guys attending The Harvest? The Soul Ding Harvest. Mm. <laughs> so scary. All right, this is kind of interesting, because it's back to more names of these holidays. So Ireland is, is thought to be the home of Halloween. Okay. And it was influenced by a Roman <clears throat> festival called Pomona. Uh, and they celebrated apples, and so that's why we have apple bobbing and stuff still. But they also celebrated nuts because they didn't have candy. So in the past, before candy, it was called San Apple Night, and my, and my favorite is Nutcrack Night. So Halloween was Nutcrack Night in Ireland for a while. How come we don't have nut bobbing? Well, Christmas but, has nutcrackers. Is there a correlation there? It must be. I think nut, be. nuts was just the sweetie treat for before the sweets. Yeah, before people figured it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when you, who, who wants di- who wants dessert? And like I do, it's just a handful of fucking walnuts. There's some walnuts. It tastes like <laughs> shit in the back. The aftertaste. Who wants dessert? Walking out with a basket of walnuts. I mean, if that's all you knew, that's that's not what I. You know, when you're like, oh, what would you like to do if you could go back any time, place, and time, and, and mm-hmm. see? I know what it wouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, it's going back to where sweets or nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's I'll skip, the time. I'll skip all of that. I'm skipping that on. As soon as they invented sweet like cheesecake and the supply chain, that's where I go. Skittles and the supply chain. Yeah. <laughs> when was that? Like I don't know. It's back to the '60s. You're, You're like, like nah. 1928. Yeah, like I guess I'll do it. <laughs> Whatever. So I also looked into <laughs> trick or treating. I thought this was kind of interesting. So half of kids want chocolate. Twenty four percent want non candy. Ten percent want gum. And point zero zero five percent want those fucking ne- Necco wafers. <laughs> you monsters. So who would want that? What's a non? Non Food. candy, non candy. I don't know, an apple, I guess, or a toy, or a, a sandwich. Money, a little ham sandwich. You guys ever have a house that handed out money? Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Dude, uh, where we live <laughs> up on the on the bluff of the hill, there's just rich people up there. Mm-hmm. You got and it's just like full Oh yeah. I mean, like they they give you just give you like a Christmas present, basically. <laughs> How funny would it's it crazy. be? That you is op- awesome. You open the door and they give you a little coupon for the buffet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they take you in, there's a whole spread. Yeah. You got turkey, mash from Nanus. Or like a Turn-o- country buffet buffet. A coupon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. like then, like the next day, Gold everyone's growl. eating. Yeah, like, everyone. The next night, everyone's just fucking. <laughs> oh, you you must be with the Johnson party. There is a they dude the coupon. I will remember this. I didn't really realize how funny it was till I got older. But there was a house when I was growing up that I went into trick or treating at, and we caught him up like, off guard. You could tell he didn't want to be there. He was on the fucking phone, and he's doing like he's doing this oh, number. Yeah, <laughs> he's doing that. He's, like, oh, he's like doing business shit, and he opens it up, <laughs> and it's me and my friends. And he goes, he looks at us. He goes, he goes, it does this little thing. <laughs> We're like, I don't know. And then he goes, and he walks around with his with his phone in his ear, and then he grabs, <laughs> he grabs a vase, and he sticks his hand in it, and he's just pulling out money. <laughs> like, <laughs> and he goes. Shh. <laughs> he starts throwing money in, and he threw me like it was like thirty seven dollars into my bag. He's like, and then like the second we left, he <laughs> closed his door and locked it and got off. his car. No, uh, he was like leaving, oh. and we just caught him. Oh, he caught him on the way on out. On the way out, he's like, "Fuck!" He's like, "God damn it!" <laughs> he was like, he had just spare cash around the house just in case he needs tons it. Tons of change, thirty seven dollars. All these quarters, dude, just. <laughs> <laughs> throw them have all fun in at the bag. arcade, nerds. He doesn't like, know how much to give you. Yeah, he it's has like, no idea. One candy bar would have been fine, but he's like, I don't know, thirty dollars. Yeah, I don't know. What, are we, the- what do kids get these days? Thirty bucks <laughs> <laughs> for one tooth or what? What are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Well, I got a couple more things for you guys. Okay. So I want to ask you, what do you think the least <clears throat> healthy candy of all is for the Halloween world? <sighs> and the most healthy? You can think about both. Most healthy apple candy, Joe. Mm, candy apple. No, not nuts either. Okay. Mm, um, least healthy is it something that's like artificially fruit? Uh, Can we get a hint. Or like a it's twi- artificial a- vegetable. Artificial vegetable. <laughs> what? Yeah, and it can be an artificial fruit too. If you consist consider a, a pumpkin is a fruit, so. So it's a pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Oh, they got pumpkin, and they got another vegetable. I'll, I'll let you know. It's the candy corn. Candy oh, corn okay, is, the, yeah. is the, the most unhealthy of all. Five, what? Eight, yeah. That makes sense. It tastes like it doesn't taste like it. You should be eating it. It tastes good. For 15 pieces, it's 22 grams of sugar, 110 calories. Whoa. Yeah, and it used to be called chicken feed. I don't know why I wanted to tell you that. The most <laughs> healthy, it looks like chicken feed. It does. Mm-hmm. The most healthy is the special dark. Her, it could be Hershey's or whatever, but the special dark candy bars. Mm. Really? Just so, the not like super just chocolate bar? So yep. Just dark chocolate. Yeah. Then, exactly. That makes sense. A couple more things about trick-or-treating. 72.2% of people hand out candy. This is as of a few years ago, 2010. Yeah. The economy is a little different now, right? Yeah. Uh, 20, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 20% visit a haunted house. Uh, 46.3% carve a pumpkin. I thought that was interesting. That seems okay. low. Yeah. And then only 11.5% of people dress up for Halloween. Hmm. I thought that was pretty nice. Is this worldwide or countrywide? This is U.S. Okay. And this is about 10 years ago. Well, how many kids are in the United States? What percentage of the population is kids? Mm, probably like 25, 30%. So half of kids? Yeah. Dress up for Halloween? Yeah. So, there you go. And the rest of them just fucking don't like a good time? <laughs> That's right. All right. Last thing I got for you guys. It's the, the myth of the fear of drugs and candy. Right? Mm. And, yeah, this is such a weird one. But there is actually a couple stories about that that got conflated into things. Okay. So in 1970, a five year old did eat heroin uh, <laughs> <laughs> that looked like candy. It was not intended to be candy, it was, right. it was his uncle's. The news took that, and that's part of the myth. Yeah. Uh, number two, in 1974, there was uh, cyanide. In Halloween candy of a kid, but it was his father who put a twenty thousand dollars life insurance policy on his kid. Oh, Jesus. that's fucked and up. I think that's the main story, and we've Happy heard about Halloween. the razor blades. Yeah, and so that was how much that. was it? Only twenty? Well, I guess that was broke. twenty. Yeah, twenty grand. But in nineteen seventy four, yeah, so like sixty grand a day or more. And last thing, the average bag of candy has eleven thousand eleven thousand calories in it. Per fucking bag of your Chitrin's candy. 11,000 calories. 11,000 calories. Of pretty much pure sugar. Of pure huh. cell malfunction and pre-diabetes. <laughs> yeah. But good times. That is good times. Do you, are you guys, you guys got the sweet tooth? Yeah. I don't have, I don't If really it's have around, one. I'll eat it, but I don't, I don't buy. Yeah. I love candy, but I just don't go buy it. Did you say our kids or us? You. Oh, yeah. Fuck candy. I love it. You I love can't it. eat it anymore, but yeah. What? What happened? Got the I, diabetes? Yeah. You're shrinking. I, yeah, I just started. People that don't know, Zach is shrinking. I am. 
I, at, a, at an alarming rate. <laughs> I ate the maximum amount of food that tastes good, I think, in my life. <laughs> kind of like when you drink or do drugs. It's like, yeah. well, I should pace myself next Can't time relate. I come back. Yeah. So I did it all too fast. <sighs> 45 gas station burritos a week is a bit excessive. <laughs> yeah, do you guys, uh, do you hang around and hand out candy or do you like head in the basement and turn the lights off type of? Hand out candy. Yeah. Basement. No one comes. My house is scary <laughs> throughout the whole year. It's a Baba Yaga house. <laughs> yeah, People avoid the shit out of it. <laughs> so, I love your house. And our dog is the Kraken, so they don't. Mm, that's true. Nobody wants to do the that. The Demogorgon. <laughs> yeah. Doggy is little. Your dog like play bit my head. Yep. <laughs> it's going to play bite your head today, too, when you come uh, over. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I think that's pretty much all I have for you. Okay. Harry, Harry Houdini died on Halloween 1926. by the being Sick disappearing act. Yeah. And it was for being punched in the stomach three times. <laughs> yeah, he got appendicitis from being punched what a in the stomach. Terrible costume what a idea. Pussy. <laughs> After all the shit that he did, he died yeah. for that. What are you for Halloween? <laughs> the I'm guy that gets hit the, st <laughs> the pancreas three times? It's a weird funny you ask specific <laughs> funny you ask he turns and goes his buddy just beats his liver to death. I'm dead. He's, he's gotta go to the next you go to the another party. Hey, what are you? I'm a uh, hospital patient. Uh, every time he's gotta do it. Explain what it is. Yeah. Explain what explain what it is. Explain <laughs> Get it? Yeah, I got it. You, got you it. gotta explain it. You, gotta explain you don't it. have to explain that joke. <laughs> explain that one to me, buddy. Uh, okay, let's move on to some good news. Okay. Let's fucking hit it. So you're telling me there's a chance. Hooray, we aren't doomed. Yeah! What you got? All right. Uh, this kind of it oh, ties is, into okay. what we talked about earlier. I see what you're doing. Um, there was a 104-year-old woman that wanted to go. She was going to set the record okay. for skydiving. Yeah. And she did it. She fucking did she it? She fucking did it. How cool is that? That is awesome. Like, what, a, what an awesome moment. Yeah. And then you know what happened? What? Like a week later? <laughs> I can guess. She died. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. I was going to say she didn't do it again. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be well, a weird article. She's going the opposite direction. She's, if she was a good lady. She's <laughs> ground jumping instead of skydiving. She's ground jumping to heaven. Yeah. So what if, what if you, she just went every day and then so she kept on breaking her own record? And oh, yeah, skydiving. yeah. So it's like the top 10 list is just her 10 times. <laughs> yeah. Like when you play an arcade game, you have all the high scores. You play you play any pinball machine that's near me and just says Jojo, Jojo, yeah, Jojo, yeah. Jojo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I've thought about getting back into pinball. Yeah. You used to send me pictures. Just yeah, no. like another record Were you impressed broken. at all during any of that? No. Maybe the first time. What? You were, though? That's well, cool. I mean, it's anytime you get on a leaderboard, it's impressive. But then it's like, then it's just kind of sad because you're at a <laughs> bar by yourself playing pinball. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to beat my own records? Yeah, yeah that is sad. <laughs> How did I think about it? <laughs> Zach, did you know I went through that phase? I didn't know that. Huh? Oh man. There's there's some a lot of spots around Coeur d'Alene. All the top all the top three are just Joe. <laughs> Have you been to Vegas in the the pinball museum there? No. That might be your Graceland, brother. I lost I lost it. I lost the bug. It was just a fun three months where everywhere I went I'd find a fucking arcade bar and and try to set the, the highest score on whatever machine it was. Okay. Well, so Joe figured out that that you basically there's a trick to it, and he started fucking hip slamming it. <laughs> yeah, did you know that it's that you that you're allowed to do that, Zach? I didn't. Uh -uh. Yeah, there's a whole little thing. There's a mechanism inside of every pinball machine that has a little thing that hangs down, like a weight that goes through a metal ring. So you have that much wiggle room just before you set off the tilt. So you can hit the fucking machine around and make the ball bounce where you want it to bounce. If, if only you hit it like a certain amount and you get three of them. So if it's going right down the middle, you can waste one of your tilts and just yank the fucking machine so that your paddle gets over and stops it from going down the middle. I had no idea that. was Yeah. That. And you're like, you get three of them. So you have to just figure out when it's like, when you have to hit it so hard to save yourself. And all pinball tables do that. Yeah. And some of them you can, you can adjust the hanging thing up or down. And that depends on like how much play you get uh, on that particular pinball machine. And you don't feel like that's cheating. It's not. It's part of the game. If you say so. Or else they wouldn't put it in there. Okay. Yeah. It's like cheat codes it's in video like games. The, or else like if you barely touched it, it would uh, automatically disqualify you. It's like, no, it's part of it. Yeah. It's like the thing that hangs in your throat. Like it's supposed to be there for a reason, you know? Mm -hmm. The uvula. Exactly, yeah. exactly like that. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, a, it's a little hangy dangly thing. I think. <laughs> anyway, um, so she, we are deeply saddened by Dorothy's passing and feel honored to have been part of making her world record skydive a reality. The statement read of the company Skydive Chicago. Yeah. And then where is it? Um, I wanted to read this part. Oh, yeah. Hoffner's close friend, Joe, told Chicago Tribune that she died peacefully in her sleep. 
Her death was unexpected, he added. Unexpected. She was 104. Got it. We won't. <laughs> Whoa. God, uh, what was the cause? Holy shit! I love when someone's like 100 years old and they're like, oh, what did she, she die of? Did she die sky- skydiving? Yeah. No, that was a week ago. <laughs> she oh. just, she was 104. Mm, that's so unexpected. Man. Crazy. I'm you guessing- never, It's like, you just never know. You know what I mean? Like, you're <laughs> alive one day and then you're 104. Four and you're dead. <sighs> you never mm. know. I can't imagine. I want to- <sighs> I know, I've said it so many times. I'm jumping out of an airplane. Yeah, I want to do it too. It's You'll just, do it? Are no, you in? No, I'm not saying I will. I want to do it really. You know how bad I want to fly and shit? What but, about the odds between a hot air balloon ride and jumping out of an airplane? Here's what we'll do. When my kids graduate high school and, and move on, I will do it. You'll I do just, it? I have to wait that long? Yeah, I just don't want to, like, if something does Ugh. happen, it's not even about me dying. It's about the kids not having a dad anymore. But don't the, worry. There'll be a good stepdad somewhere. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, I know. But that's the part of the problem is I don't want there to be a stepdad that's better than me. <laughs> well, you enough. think you're better than me I'll haunt your fucking life like that's why even if I want to divorce my wife I wouldn't just because I don't want to hear about fucking stepdad you know what I mean like <laughs> the kids come over to my house for the weekend and they're like oh dude like fucking Terry took us Brian with an eye <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Terry with an eye <laughs> Terry with an eye took us fucking polywogging whatever the fuck kids are going to be <laughs> doing <Poly-walking? laughs> I don't know fucking driving tractor yeah out there polywogging <laughs> <laughs> um I just don't want to have to face that you know I mean, like, I mean yeah you die there's going to be a skydiving instructor that's ready for the job oh dude step yeah. out there and take care of your kids yeah just long hair and fucking <laughs> ripped r- just yeah shredded one, one with the earth so makes peaceful makes ladies have orgasms <laughs> <laughs> just something my wife's not used to fucking pack your wife's parachute you know what I mean yeah one with oh, the yeah. earth yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> pack her parachute fucking <laughs> pack <laughs> Parachute? I only smoke patchouli cigarettes. <laughs> it's just not, that's the best thing for the earth. <laughs> for the planet. I know what's best for the earth. Uh, you found something. Let's I move did. on. All right, Zach, you want to fucking play it, dude? The internet is pretty wild. Depending on your browsing habits, you can either experience something super cool or go to prison. Crazy, right? Let's check it out together as a couple. Hey, look what I found. Yes! That's awesome. I'm going to try this. I like this as a pickup line. I'm going to call Cass real quick. She's upstairs right now. I can hear him walking around. Okay, I'm going to see if I can pack her parachute. <laughs> One second. Pack your parachute. I'm going to see if this works. I hear her moving around. Is she not by her phone? This is going to be total buzzkill. She's probably like, why are you calling me right mm-hmm. now? <laughs> She's thinking buck dial. Buck dial. It's her! Well, I guess I'm not packing her parachute. <laughs> Hi. Oh, oh, my God. I just need to call back. It's going to be at a bad time. <gasps> okay. What'd you find? Okay. This is what I found. First of all, I was just looking for crazy stuff, and I found this website, crazyproductswithaz.com. <laughs> that's not even, like... Scatcast with a... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> yeah. that uh, that's not even that was I was thinking oh this could be the thing but then mm. I saw this product and I was like let's talk about this first let's fucking do it dude. so just, if I you just want realized to realize I can't see your computer sorry oh you don't even... I'm plugged in bro fucking plugged in oh Shit. HDMI wasn't all the way in there okay. you go all right here we go rock and roll let's rock and roll so I then I was like oh, I'm gonna do a specific product this is a it's a that is it's so a cool. Game Boy iPhone case fuck yeah. And it charges with, you know, um, it just, you know, you just fucking charge it like you normally do, plug it into a wall. And it's on the, the other side of the phone case. So you have your, your phone okay. that you look, and then you flip it around, and it's a little mini Game Boy. Dude, and I it's s- got tons of, like, just Excite Bikes on Excite here. I see Excite Bike on there. You're fucking kidding me. There's a list of all the games that are on here. Would it sell without Excite Bike? Come on. No. Right. Because the other games look shit. They do. I, I saw another 42. game that had, like, a panda. That was trying to eat bamboo. 1942's on there. That's yeah. a classic. That is one of Super the best. Super Contra. Speaking of that, like we got to start playing on the we the in our studio. The table we use isn't a retro arcade table. It's an actual functioning table. Yeah. yeah. So that'd be fun. It's got Pac Man. It's got Mario. I'm looking at the Galaga little... Tetris Super Contra Bomberman. That's a good one. Um. So oh, I mean, some of them are that? Arkanoids on there. King oh, uh, Donkey Arkanoid, Kong. Dude. King Kong. 
Looks like, yeah, some sort of shootout Galactica, maybe that is. I think that is. Do you remember Arkanoid, dude? I used to play, my, in college, oh my God, we we got an, an emulator and my <laughs> buddy and I would just get hammered and play Arkanoid for hours. <laughs> I love, like, when you look at these games, like, one of the games on part of the list is Chinese chess. Mm. Riveting. Mm. Like, you're like, oh, I'm so bored, I'm gonna flip my phone over and play Ark fucking Chinese chess. Mm. No one's playing that, just take it out. How about it has 10 games on it, and all 10 are fucking sweet? Why 36 games? Because one of them Why is... Why not just stop it? Because the other one that's on there, one of the other ones is five chess. So you get two chess games. That's really cool. You have a game called Balloon Fight. I'm sure that's just... The excitement is insane. Nuts milk? Are you, are <laughs> sure. you talking shit about chess? Is that what's happening right now? No, I'm just saying if you have a little arcade game on the back of your phone, you don't need five chess and Chinese chess. I think you might. Well, Chinese chess is different. <laughs> because it's from Chinese. No, it's way different. It is way different. Oh, yeah, because it's a different type of chess. Yeah. When's the last time you played Chinese like, have chess? Have you played Mexican <laughs> chess? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mexican standoff? <laughs> <laughs> Polish chess? I love how like every card game just has a Polish version of it. Mm-hmm. It's the same game, but vertical. Just like a weirder setup. You're like, all right. Um, oh, soccer. That's a good one. This is so cool. I think I might I might get one. It's only 20 bucks. It has to be sweet, right? We should probably just... Fucking do it. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you could probably get the same thing as an app on your phone. Yeah. And but, then you wouldn't need to. But not nearly as, as fun as the, the flip over. The controls, yeah. It's, yeah. it's the it's feeling like you're holding a Game Boy. Tactile. But as they this say. is in color. Game Boy, the Game Boy that I had wasn't color. So. Yeah. My friends got one. Remember Game Gear? <sighs> I, my buddy got a Game Gear and I was I so jelly. I know. I'm just so PlayStation cool. Vista. That shit was awesome. Yeah, those were good. Those were good. Um, all right, let's move on and hear from some of our children. It's weird that we call it colored TV. Isn't it is. that a little racist? <laughs> sure, I'm sure that's what it is. It has nothing to do with like just colors in general. It has to do with oh. race. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's hear from some of the kids. Okay. Roll it! All right, let's hear what you guys think. Really? You want to talk to me? Wow, that's cool. I'll take the first one. Does that sound good to you? That sounds like a question. Yeah, that sounds good. Our I'll- first- <laughs> our first email coming in from our son Rob. Fucking Rob, dude. Yeah. It says you can call me Doug. <laughs> do, well, do, then do, don't put do, Rob. Do, do, do. And yes, Joe saved my penis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I remember an episode where he talked about a drug he was on could make his dick explode. It was a drug I almost was on. Mm. Just a little correction here. Because of the whole dick explode thing. <laughs> on account of the dick exploding <laughs> thing. Yeah, I was like, no, no. My dick's already big enough. I don't need it to fucking... The next episode, Joe remembered the name of the drug, and it was Trazodone. I, too, was on Trazodone, so I looked it up and realized how serious... What? Priapism? Priapism is. I don't even know if that's what your dick blowing up thing is. Well, I've heard know. of priapism, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah, I've heard of it, but I don't know either. Yeah, I'm guessing it has to do something with a dick. It can't be good either. No. Priapism is prolonged erection of the penis. Oh. The no. full or partial erection continues hours beyond or isn't caused by sexual stimulation. The I main types of priapism are ischemic and non-ischemic. I wake up with priapism every day. <laughs> <laughs> I start my day with Folgers and priapism. <laughs> The best part of waking up is priapism. <laughs> An erection you didn't want. <laughs> priapism. Priapism. The fresh, the the fresh maker yeah. or whatever. Just combining two different things. And <laughs> just all these different commercials. <laughs> priapism. The dick hardener. Well, fast forward to a day ago. Where's the dick hardener? <laughs> fast forward to a day ago. I woke up with an erection. No big deal, you say. Well, it didn't go away after an hour and started to hurt a little. I remember that trazodone could cause this, and the fact I could dis- it could disable my cock permanently. I'm quite fond of my cock, so I went to the ER. A lot of people saw my cock, including a bunch of nursing students. I got some morphine in my arm and a couple shots of what may have been medical meth in my do in my dong. I'll spare you all the details, but turns out time is of the essence. So I repeat, Joe saved my cock. Mm-hmm. Way to go, Joe. Thank saving, you. Yay! Saving cocks around the world. Yeah. First member of the club. <laughs> member. <laughs> welcome. To, welcome. Oh. Get your me- members jacket. <laughs> <laughs> members only. It's pink. Uh, there's got to be a joke about members and jacket. Yeah. Get it? Well, take all off member- your member and jacket. <laughs> jacket. All members jacket. Mm. <laughs> yeah, all members jacket together. <laughs> there you go. Bound to bad. Available now at canyoudon.com. Available now. <laughs> Spoken. Washington. <laughs> All right. Second email coming from our daughter, Yehika. Yep. 
Hey, fuckers. <laughs> Listen okay. here, bitch. Don't ever fuck. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God. I swear to God. I said the next time. Mm. Wow. If I, first of all, I want to say you need to stop making me laugh. Um, out loud, put, put loud, <laughs> out loud while I am working, uh, working because it makes me look crazy. I'm sure that's what makes you look crazy, Jessica. Mm-hmm. Nothing else, babe. You got it. Anyways, just wanted to continue with the movie and uh, and I would watch. It. Oh yeah, with the <laughs> movie I would watch again for the first time, and it's going to be Inception. Mm. I actually saw that movie twice in the theater and I love it so much. She had an. That huh? was a good one. It was. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I have another question for you guys to ponder. What's the best sports movie of all time? And mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that everyone will have a different answer. Also, I uh, obsessively watched Land of Confusion music video as a child because I loved it so much, and I don't know uh, what that says about me. <laughs> to make a long email even longer, keep an amazing podcast. Never changed. Love you guys. It means she loves spooky shit. Spooky shit. The sports shit. thing, that's, that's tough. Uh no, it's not. Okay, don't well, say it out loud. Don't. Yeah, easy. we gotta. We gotta make sure. Easy for you, Zach. Easy. Go. Wait, are we waiting on this? I was just making sure we all had a, oh. a, a chance to, to think. Easy. Favorite sports movie of all time. Really easy, easy. Fucking a. God, I want. I want to try and guess yours. Can you give me the sport? Baseball. Okay, Sandlot. Ooh, good one though. No, no, not it, huh? No. Nope. League of Their Own. No. Nope. Ooh, also good. Rookie of the Year. No. Nope. Rookie of the year. That was Angels right. in the Outfire? It's obviously a major league. It is. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Yeah, because that's probably mine too. You guys both like fucking wild thing? It had like baseball stats it's just in it. So good. They're like, he has 42 home runs. It's like, that sounds realistic. I yeah. like this. Baseball stats. They did it. a really good job of baseball plus being funny. It's usually they don't movies don't usually do it's like it's a really good love story, but the but the baseball or the football is just terrible in it. Like mm-hmm. it's just so unrealistic. Um, What's that Kevin? Not Field of Dreams, but the Kevin Costner movie where he's for the love of the game. Yes, the baseball in that is fucking awesome. I like Bull Durham is great too. Yeah, Yeah. Moneyball, Um, but League of Their Own. League of Their Own. It's is it League of Their Own? Oh god, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I think it's that's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's also now that I watch it as I mean, even when I was younger, but when when I watch it now as an adult, when the end when they're old and they're playing and and Madonna's playing, Mm -hmm. used to be my playground. I mean, it's like. That you talk about emotional, because it, it brings back the nostalgia and like knowing. I don't know. It's just it's it's a special, special movie, and it's fu- Tom Hanks is fucking fantastic in it. You know, avoid the Jim, the clap Jimmy Dugan. Remember the it's program? good advice. The what? The program. Oh yeah, that was fucked. That was pretty good too. Yeah. What was the one that started off with the scene where the guy was returning the ball and he just shot everybody that was away? The last Boy Scout? Yeah. That's oh, what Damian I was thinking yeah. of. Jesus, he starts fucking shooting the guys. Yeah. That's what it was. I could never remember what that, which if I thought that was the program for some reason. Yeah. It came out around the same time, I think. Uh, do you guys, Rudy? Rudy's Ooh. good. Yeah. Dodgeball, Remember the Titans? Yeah. Friday Night good? Lights? Yeah. I never saw that. Yeah. You never saw that? Varsity um, Blues? That was, was, was alright. Yeah. The Blind Side. Soundtrack was good. Tin, RC Blue soundtrack was good. Tin Cup. Tin Cup's fantastic. He got game. I mean, come on with Denzel in there. Mm. Creed. All the Creeds. Short Blue Bam Chips. Dirt. Oh yeah, I guess Rocky stuff like that is yeah. considered. Blue, Blue Chips. Chips. Blue Chips was rad. I yeah, watched I that like Shaq, a year right? ago. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go awesome. with. I'm gonna go with just the comedy because it was just so funny at the time. I'm gonna go with Happy Gilmore. Nice. I think that's gonna be my my favorite sports movie. Nice. Just cause I mean, there's so many good ones too. Like the like Talladega Nights was good. Um, like ones that's like they shaped comedy. Like you, people still do. Like thank you, baby Jesus. Like lines and stuff from Talladega Nights. Like I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. Like those things. Like Happy Gilmore. Like Price is Wrong. Like they get stick. Water boy. I, I, yeah, I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You pieces of shit for breakfast. Yeah, like those things. They just carry on forever. I'm gonna go with Happy Gilmore. Tap 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 a roo. Tap tap a roo. Are you too good for your home. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what like what what's considered a sports movie? Big Lebowski is that considered? It's yeah, bowling. It's a bowling movie. Um, because King and Kingpin's really great. Yeah. yeah. Um, but when I think of sports movies, I think about it being like revolved or completely around. So happy. I mean, happy get more plays. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally sports. That's movie. totally sports. It's we- Yeah, it's weird. Like it's. We could we could dive into this whole fucking thing, but when I think about sports movie, for some reason, Happy Gilmore doesn't. Strike me as a as a mm-hmm. sports movie. Well, good luck but, trying to say it's not. No, no, I'm not. I know, I'm not. I'm just comparing it to other movies that I think of, like sports movies, like Moneyball. Mm-hmm. is like a newer sports movie. Yeah, forty two. Forty two is really good. Mm-hmm. 
they're not comedies, but they're good or good films. There's a cool movie called 61 about Roger Maris. Too. I saw that. That's good too. All right, so you guys are going with what'd you say? Major uh, League. Major, Major League. League is just I, one and two. They're just yep. so good. Yeah, they are good. Um, um, some of the best. Uh, oh, have you guys ever seen? Uh, you guys ever seen uh, Kicking and Screaming with Will Ferrell? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That is fucking hilarious. It's so good. It's You're super it? underrated. Zach? No, I've never seen it. He plays. He plays. He's he's a youth soccer coach. Yeah, his dad's a coach, and then he takes on his own team and gets a uh, fucking what's his name. Uh, the Bears coach, uh, Mike Ditka involved, and like uh, nice. there's so much, there's so many little one-liners from Will Ferrell. It's so funny. His dad was like a renowned soccer coach, yeah. and then he tries to coach, but he's coaching his shitty son's soccer team, <laughs> and his dad's just judging him the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. Uh, there's a, there's uh, we'll move on. There's a scene of him, and he's like he's becomes obsessed with coffee, and it's funny for me because I did the same thing. Once I started drinking coffee, I was like, "Holy shit, this is what coffee does!" Mm-hmm. And so he's like, he's in the back of a line of the coffee shop, and he's just like, "Hey, come on, move it, move it!" He's like wanting to get his coffee and go. He's getting mm-hmm. real anxious, and then some lady turns around. And she's like, "Hey." Take it easy back there. He's like, you ease up on that corduroy jacket. <laughs> why? Just like, every time you hear that, it makes you crack up. He's ease up on that corduroy jacket. <laughs> anyway, well, I guess the way you can hear Will saying it. Yeah, yeah it's just the delivery. It's just a great line. <laughs> ease up on that fucking corduroy jacket. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, but How- yeah, I like a good. I like a movie that does well with the sport and it tells a good story and stuff. So. Major, yeah. Major League, Major League does that yeah, for Most me. of the baseball movies would be like the pitcher threw 19 consecutive strikeouts in all straight three strike counts. And you're like, mm-hmm. oh, that's baseball, isn't it? That's yeah. it Field works. of Dreams is good, too. Yep. Field of Dreams, Angel in the Outfield. <laughs> yeah, they're on the same level. Yeah, they are. <laughs> nope. Yeah, they are. It's like saying Rookie of the Year is not there. That's there. <laughs> that, no, it's not worth saying. Funky Butt Levin? Rookie of the Year is fucking fantastic. <laughs> funky Butt Levin? Yeah. Did you say Funky Butt Levin? <laughs> All right, let's wrap up episode 70. All right. All right. Uh, sign up. Be part of the gaggle. You'll find a link to our Patreon. Thank you to everybody that does that. That's how you get the bonus content on the end of every separate episode. We'll keep going when this what one's about over. about Bend It Like Beckham? <laughs> I'm sure it was great. Sorry. Sorry, skip that one. Must have been straight. What about Air Bud? Bad News Bears. Bad News Ooh, Bears? Air Bud, though. Longest Yard? Yeah. 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 Come on. That's yeah, about my dick. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. It's mine. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Can You Don't Podcast. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Can You Don't Podcast. Got the YouTube channel, Scatcast. <laughs> Everything was scatty casty. Go to scatcast.com. Hoosiers. <laughs> that was a good oh, one. Oh, fuck. That's on the list. Uh, that's Scatcast with a K. Go check it out. Everything that Uncle Zach does. Teen Wolf. Inc- incredible. Twilight. Oh, Miracle on 34. Or Miracle <laughs> on Ice. What was the Miracle on Ice one? The uh, hockey, hockey one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But what was it? Uh, Russia, was it just called Soviet Miracle? Union? What was it called? A miracle. Yeah, Miracle. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, okay, you ready to you ready to wrap it up? I think. You, what you, about the movie that was filmed here in Spokane? The wrestling movie. There's a wrestling movie. Quest, Vision Quest. Yeah, Vision Quest. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sure that's probably pretty good. Yeah, it was filmed here in Spokane. Missed it. Must I think it was like North it. Central High School or something. Whatever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, okay, let's uh, let's hear what you got for the end of the show. You ready? Yeah. All right. Zang. <laughs> Good God. Wrap it up already, huh? All right, Joe. What? All right, Zach. Got a question for you. What is it? What was Cinderella, or why was Cinderella? <laughs> God damn it. What's the random Cinderella's uh, gender? Oh. What is she? Oh, no, I just got here. All right. Uh, why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? Why? Why? She kept running away from the ball. <laughs> <laughs> My brain went to glass slipper. Mm. Maybe something with a glass slipper. But mm. she didn't like the ball. Well, she had to get in the pumpkin and get home. <laughs> yeah, she she didn't want to have her transportation turned into a pumpkin mm-hmm. or she whatever. Had some, she had some she, cleaning the, to do. The, taxi, the, the pumpkin taxi was closing, <laughs> was closing at midnight. She didn't want to get pushed into the wall by her dad. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have a dad, did she? She, she didn't want to get hit her in the aunt? night. She didn't want to get hit into the nightstand by her dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't talked about that in a while. Throwing it you, back, you maybe. throwing Ezra into the nightstand? <laughs> I don't know if Zach's heard that story. Uh, I'll tell him. I'll tell him later. Cinderella did have a dad. She married the uh, the stepmother. Oh, yeah. That's right. What a good guy. He was busy doing business, though, so he didn't pay attention. <laughs> He's doing business, though. Business. ROI, bitch. <laughs> uh, okay. Episode 70. That's it. Thanks, kids. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. For all of the geese, uh, we'll keep honking. Bye! bye. Bye. Uh-huh.